the mantle on a wife, the wifely office, is the ability, as you're joining in, you can share this broadcast to your page so someone can get blessed. The wifely anointing is the ability to move forward. To more, move forward. Remember, you cannot change yesterday. Even if you view a bad decision in yesterday, you can't change yesterday. So the only thing you could do for yesterday is perform correct today. You can't change any bad decision in yesterday. You can't fix yesterday. The wifely anointing is a mantle for the mind to perform righteousness today, to walk in perfection today, to accomplish missions today, to change the soul today. You can't fix anything bad that you did yesterday. You can't correct any wrong decision you made yesterday. You can't take back anything you said yesterday. You can't disconnect from who you connected with yesterday. But today you could disconnect. Today you could speak right. Today you could do right. Today you could think right. Today you could believe correct. Today you could keep your company purged. Today you could monitor your schedule on what you're allowing inside of yourself. God created the woman as the weaker vessel. Weaker vessel means that there is a demand on you for submission. You can't operate without submission. The, the secret of being a weaker vessel means that there's a stronger vessel that you're supposed to latch on yourself to, to get the nutrients of your strength, to get the nutrients of your power, to get the nutrients of your, 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 your focus, to get the nutrients of your, your, your obedience, the nutrients of your wisdom. God on purpose made you the weaker vessel so that you would have no choice but to submit in order to be successful. Meaning without submission, there's no success. Without submission, there's no progress. There's no protection. Without submission, you can't live as the wife you was made to be. If you notice the spin that I'm pinning on wife, is that this is a wise impartation that I'm giving you because I'm showing you that wife is not what the world said wife was. Wife is an office given to you by the Holy Ghost where all of his traits shine out of you. You're his superstar. You're his woman. You don't desire evil. You don't desire wickedness. You don't take the option to be uh, corrupt. You don't take the option to be messy. You don't take the option to be a slave to sin. A wife is the office given to a woman when she becomes born again, when she becomes the bride of Christ, literally where the Lord is the one dominating what you do with where you live, who you let come into that apartment, who you let come inside of that house, who you allow, even, even when you're the Lord's wife, he determines your clients. He pits in people's heart to believe in your business or your idea or your, your, your work. The anointing of wife is where the Spirit of God it has inaugurated you to be an instruction taker. He has inaugurated you to take instructions, to hear his voice and fulfill tasks, to hear his voice and fulfill missions. Remember, the major anointing on a wife is her ability to move forward. Move forward with the correct decision now. Move forward with the correct reaction now. Remember your words is who you are as a wife. How you say things is, is, is as important as what you say. You're a peacemaker. 
And if you ever find yourself going in the direction of words of war, it's simply because what you allowed into your eyes. When you eat a forbidden fruit, you birth forbidden behavior. When you eat a forbidden fruit, you birth forbidden behavior. But when you eat the food of life, you produce the words of life. Your tongue is in the life realm. You want your tongue always to be speaking what's of life and not what's of death. You want your tongue to always be producing what's of life and not what's of death. So it's a job, a full-time job to keep yourself in the oil of cleanliness, holiness, righteousness, and being a wholesome woman. The woman that received virtue from the Lord, the Bible says she was made whole. So virtuous woman means a whole woman, which the fullness of it is a holy woman. So a virtuous woman is a holy woman. She's a wholesome woman. That means that her mind is not being captured by demon spirits. When you're a wife, you can't be on every social media site. If I dominate a woman, if a woman is my wife, I'm not going to let her be on social media. I'm not going to let her be on TikTok. I'm not going to let her be on Instagram. I'm not going to let her be on different type of things. Because if she is going to ever flow with me, if I'm going to have a woman be my wife, if she's going to flow with me, she can't be receiving the information system of Satan. I got to be able to dominate her with the wisdom realm that I have so that she could flow with me because I'm not in the world. Now, if I was in the world, that'd be a different story, no problem. But because I'm of the word, I would need the spiritual mindedness to rule her. The wife realm is a realm of avoiding the usual path of the common female. Avoiding the usual path of the common female. That means if every woman is doing it, why are you doing it? Every now and again, I just want to look at my hang time. That's all. That's all. I just want to look at the hang time every now and again. If, the, if, if that's the usual path of every female, why, why would you be on it? Your wife. How you spend your time is different when you're a wife. What you look at is different when you're a wife. The information system you receive is different when you're a wife. Your behavior, your conduct is different when you're a wife. What you entertain is different when you're a wife. Who you talk with is different when you're a wife. What you pursue is different when you're a wife. How you carry yourself in different environments and arenas and themes. When I say themes, I mean the theme, like say like you go to a business place, like how you carry yourself is business. You go to a place of uh, uh, working out, how you carry yourself is working out. You know, the theme, the theme. If you're playing basketball, the theme. When you're a wife, you, you discern and you catch the theme of what's required of you. Remember, I want to emphasize this, the major anointing on a wife is that you become a progressor. You can move forward. You can go forward. You can't change yesterday, but God gave you today so that you can produce a different result. You can't fix yesterday. So don't try to fix yesterday. Use today to show the fixture. Use today to show the change. The anointing of wife means today I performed the way that I wanted to perform yesterday. The anointing of wife means today I say what I wanted to say yesterday, what I was supposed to say yesterday. The ability to move forward. 
Remember, depression, oppression, suppression, demonic possession proves nothing. It does nothing. Guilt changes nothing. Guilt is just a revisitation of a wrong move. Shame changes nothing. Repentance is where all the change occurs. And repentance can't be done until you recognize the opportunity of now. You can't fix yesterday, but you have the opportunity of now. You have now to produce all of the energy of changes and edit. You have the divine makeup for your sinful skin. You caught that? You have the divine makeup for your sinful skin. Now you could do skin tutorials on the flesh realm that manifested yesterday. Now you can do skin uh, tutorials. You can contour your carnality. You can contour your, your carnality and fix it. Put on the makeup of Christ for the crisis decisions you made yesterday. And now beautify yourself with praise and thanksgiving. The mentor and the wife is to go forward. I'm giving you poetry at the same time, you know. I'm giving you poetry. But that's a part of the prophetic anointment. So.